Hello there and welcome to this Robo Deck Designer video on handrails for steps. So this is actually the third video in the series of handrails for decks. This video is one of many on the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. I'm Paul and this YouTube channel here is all about helping you. Helping you navigate the difficult New Zealand building code regulations. I will let you know about little known clauses and design considerations that can prevent you from making mistakes and getting it right first time. But the greatest gift I can give you is the Robo Deck Designer online tool. This online tool will help you design your deck to New Zealand building code regulations within minutes. So before we get into this video I just want to shout out to all those new subscribers that you join this YouTube channel and I just really enjoy actually doing videos here on just sharing knowledge on actually building decks in New Zealand and on the Robo Deck Designer website as well. So hey, it's so great to have you on board. So the two previous videos was the first one was actually on handrail posts for handrail designs for decks and the second one was the infilling of handrail panels for decks. So this is actually a bit of a short video. Some of the details are actually covered in the two previous videos. I've just got links here in the description below. As with the two previous videos, the same building code regulations actually applied. So, so the first one is actually B1, guidance to barrier design, and the second F4, which is safety from falling. But for barriers for steps, there are actually, however, a few changes. Another thing to mention here is that this video is solely for handrails, for steps, for decks. There are actually a few other regulations involving handrails for steps, but they're just not applicable in this particular case. A handrail is required on steps as the fall is greater than one metre. In building code regulation F4, safety from falling, there's actually a very interesting diagram there which just shows some of the additional requirements for handrails for steps. So if you look at the bottom right hand corner, there's actually a very interesting note there which specifically states that any barriers that you have on the rest of the deck are actually applicable to the steps themselves but there is actually a difference with the height being a minimum of 900 millimeters. Now with steps you are going to end up with a triangular shaped hole below the bottom rail on the handrail for us, the steps so the gap here cannot be bigger so that a 150 millimeter diameter sphere can actually fall through the hole. Also in that diagram there, I think there's actually is a safety loophole, which um, if you look at the handrail posts in there and the diagrams there saying that the gaps can be up to 100 millimeters vertically, a child could quite easily actually fit their feet in through those holes there and climb up and then um, have a nasty fall. But so with decks designed using the Robo Deck Designer online tool, this problem here won't actually arise as the design won't actually allow for a situation like this. Now something else actually required for a deck is that it actually needs a handrail profile to D1 or AS1. Now at the bottom of D1 there's a section there under figure 26 just on handrail profiles and this is actually needed in there for the steps. Now on the Robo Deck Designer website with the online tool there, the decks there actually have these details actually built in there into the drawings and you can just see this here on the screen. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video, I uh, really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe to the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. Thank you.